concerned are you guys about like some like friend fee or something like that? You know, that does like streaming real time. Um, I, I think uh, just just to speak to friend fee, I, I think friend fee has a different a different use case. You know, if you, friend fee, you're, you're you're trying to just aggregate a bunch of different points of your life, um, and uh, and you're just pulling it all into to one one feed. I don't I don't really see Twitter as an aggregator. Again, I see it as a new way to communicate. So I would say that our communication is really email. Um, I, 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 I maintain modesty and humbleness in saying that, but I really think that the endeavor uh, and the opportunity for us is, is really uh, against, against uh, but, but with communication, other communication tools like the, like the, the telephone, like SMS, like email, um, in some cases like, like the web itself. Um, I, I think I think the potential for a technology like this is, is limitless uh, because it's so open and because it's so simple. But it's not really – it's up to the company to provide a very stable base uh, for this innovation to happen. It's up to the users, it's up to the developers to create something interesting. Um, and, and that's what we saw with email, that's what we saw with the web, and that's what we saw with the, the phone today. Um, you know, SMS came out of – certain usage. It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't intentional. Uh, it was a mistake. Uh, it Tell was an accident. <laughs> um, Jack, do you have some advice for students, especially marketing students, about what to do with this newfound knowledge about social media when they want to go and develop a career? Um, you know, I, my, my approach is always to... Uh, I would say I, I would ask for advice from you, actually, um, because I'm not I'm not growing up with this technology. I I feel fairly biased in terms of what I know and and uh, you know what what I've what I've seen and, and what I've achieved with it. Yeah, I, I it, it's very hard after working with something like this for 15 years to to step out of it and and see see it in a different way to get a, a different perspective. Um, so that's why I love coming to um, schools like this and classes like this to get another perspective. Um, if I learned anything, it's that um, uh, I think the most important thing is just to keep listening and, and be able to um, not, not necessarily react uh, because, you know, reacting is, can, can sometimes leave you, leave you in the trap, but... Um, Listen to how people are interacting with media like this. Listen to yourselves on, on <coughs> what you want to see out of a technology this, like this, and then and then make it cohesive and, and build something build something new. Uh, and you know, there, there's there's no specific advice other than that that I can give because every situation is different. Everyone needs different things. Everyone has their own value, and everyone wants to see. Uh, a, a different, a different thing in the world, and, and that's what you really need to pay attention to, is how they want to interact with the world. You know, if you're if you're working with a client, or uh, if you're working with someone, or just yourself, like what, what do you want to see? What, what do you want to do? I know that's that's general and not really a satisfying answer, but it's a good guideline. Certainly. 